Production project is a youth-led movement to which we're reaching out to almost 40 lakh NSS volunteers all over India, and we're training them to become preventers of child sexual abuse. So, um, hi, Vizino, you know, very glad to welcome you back once again. So, um, how are you? How 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 have you been doing? Hello again, and I'm really good. I'll just reintroduce myself again. Yeah. So. My name is uh, Vizino Rika, and I'm from Kohima, Nagaland. I started my BSc Psychology at uh, NSSW in Chennai. And, okay. Uh, yes. And I joined, uh, and I came to learn about this through our NSS webinar that we had. And when I... All right. Hmm. Um, yeah, please continue. <laughs> okay. Just let me know if my voice is breaking again. Yeah, yeah. No, it's fine so far. Okay. So, um, so when I fr- when we first had this uh, webinar, I was actually like it was such a thought provoking uh, session. It really opened my eyes. I mean, we hear a, a lot about these things, but I never really imagined like the statistics and everything. And it was really shocking to see how like. Uh, how you guys said, like, one in every two ch- child undergoes sexual abuse. To, to me personally, I've never uh, faced such a thing, and none of my close family has. But we always hear about it on the news, and, uh, and the newspaper is like, every week there's a case. It's almost like such cases are just, like, part of the newspaper. <laughs> And that's really sad. yeah, it it is. Um, thank you, thank you so much for sharing that with all of us today. I'm glad you felt comfortable enough to. And also, um, I I would like to ask you um, after you joined the how was your you I know you've just started your Rakshan journey, but how has the journey been so far? And um, what are you looking what what are you looking forward to learning during during the course of your program? Uh, so far, we, we've had one more session, like last Friday, I guess, and there too, we learned a lot of things, like uh, more about the Rakshan project. And what I'm li- really looking forward to is like how to um, like uh, take out the duties of a Rakshan and how to spread the news. I'm really looking forward to learning more about this. And though my like my social reach is really small but i would like to share this new uh issues with everyone that i know and make it like uh make it an open thing so that people will talk about it more and also like uh prevent more things more of these cases from happening yes yes definitely and um, social reach doesn't matter um, change starts at home and that's something that we here at sakshi believe so uh, yes, definitely. Even the littlest things do make a difference, and um, especially as a student and a student of psychology, um, what are you looking to um, what are you looking to learn from the Rakshan project? Okay, so like uh, the first thing that we uh, like we were taught like in our psychology classes was like how um, our childhood experiences really shape us. And yes. whatever, yeah. So, mm, whatever experiences we have, though we may not remember it, it really affects us in the future and also affects our developmental growth. And also, it prevents a lot of uh, a lot of people from having a normal life. So, what I want to learn from uh, Rakshin is how to um, help if there are victims that I know how to help them to uh, solve their trauma and get out of it, and also to prevent such things from happening. Yes, um, I completely agree with you. And um, and incidentally, I'm also a psychology student. So, um, so yes, Where I definitely yeah. think... Where I'm, I, I, I study at Kriya University, but I'm, I'm also in Chennai right now. Oh. Um, I'm from Chennai. So um, that's that's great to hear. 
and again it's very important especially as a psychologist or somebody who is working in areas of mental health and in areas of social science to um, be educated and be informed and i think that's something that the rakshan project is also very um, um it's very instrumental in creating this kind of awareness and we're very glad that you you're a part of um, you're a part of uh, the rakshan project and i just a, a few parting thoughts i would like to ask you um why do you think that there uh, um why do you think that there, there, there is so much stigma around uh, talking about child sexual abuse and talking about abuse in general um uh, what is your opinion why do, why do you think that there is so much shame involved um honestly my my first um guess would be because of like our patriarchal society and yes. how like yeah and weakness is like like a big fault that um <laughs> i don't know how to continue that sentence on this one it's it's making a lot of sense so far so um yeah. yes i i completely agree and these are some of the things that the rakshan project hopes to address in in the course of the internship and um i'm really glad that you're a part of the project and i hope you have a great rakshan experience and it was it was lovely to meet you and get to know you because um what we're doing especially here on our instagram is with interviewing rakshans every day and getting to know them understanding their stories and understanding how the rakshan project is able to create a real impact in uh, people's families across india and um we're very happy that you're uh, that you will be an agent and you will be an agent of change and and we're, we're very happy that we've been able to create this kind of a conversation and create this kind of an open dialogue about these topics that are typically not addressed because as you said because of a patriarchal society and because of all these um systems and things that have been ingrained in us and um thank you thank you so much for joining us here today and um, we hope to interview more rakshans as as um the project continues and i hope you have a great experience here and i hope you're able to learn a lot and um thank you so much for your insights especially as a student of psychology and what you said really uh, resonated with me uh, with all of us here a lot because uh, our experiences during our childhood stay with us for the rest of our lives in some way or the other so um thank you thank you so much thank you vizino thank you so much for being here today it was lovely it was lovely talking with you